All right, team AT. Tonight is supposed to be 33 degrees with sleety rain and a lot of wind. So you'd think, that's a good day to stay inside, Jeff. No, 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 no. We're practicing for an AT through hike. So it's a perfect night to go outside and try the tent. The Plex Solo packs down to about eight inches long by about four and a half inches in diameter. Wow. All right, bundle up, we're going outside. We're going to spot for the tent. Remember how I told you I was going to take the tent outside and show you what it looked like set up? Well, I went out there and first time for me ever, went to put the stakes in the ground, completely frozen. The, they were not going in. It's cold constant and it's so cold. So I had to abandon that plan. In Iceland, we use rocks to uh, guy out the tent, but I have no big rocks in my yard. In forest, I've used trees and things like that to guy out the tent. We have no real trees in our yard, so I had to laugh. I'm like, I'm dead on my first night. Since we had a fail outside today because of the icy ground, we couldn't get the stakes in the ground, I used chairs and stools to simulate having to do it with rocks and or trees if you were in the forest. So here is what the tent looks like. It's a single pole tent. My feet still have some room that way, and my head you have a little bit of room that way. And then you have a little space over here. Not nearly as spacious as the duplex. The uh, pitch of this tent is kind of haphazard. It is a lot more confined than the duplex, if you're familiar with that tent. So I'm wondering how it's going to be when the wind is blowing. You know, how much will this uh, move around? And obviously, uh, if you get it pitched out better, maybe it wouldn't move so much. Like a duplex, it doesn't really move much in the wind. I wanted you to see the tent up, and you did. Toby, wondering what kind of a pup tent is in your house? It has a number of these little toggles which you can use to pull up the floor. Now it hangs down a little bit, so you can basically go like this and put it through there and uh, kind of block some of the wind or the splattering looks like that's actually a really nice feature i like that after my initial shock and realizing i have no way to get these stakes in the ground i went into the garage and i got a hammer and a, a car camping tent stake a little bit thicker i did try a hammer And it did go in finally with a lot of effort. <laughs> but... So it got me thinking, I should probably rethink which kind of tent stakes I take with me. Probably need to take ones that are more durable and that you could pound with a rock through any hard ground. Um, for those of you that have been on the AT in Georgia and southern part of North Carolina and Tennessee, in the end of February, early March, uh, let me know, does the ground actually, is it that frozen down there? Or because it's warmer during the day, it doesn't freeze over like here in cold constant. It's just like a sheet of ice that you gotta break through. Permafrost. The Plex Solo tent really needs six stakes, uh, one for the door and one for the counter uh, balance, and then four for the corners. This is the seven inch, these are the six inch stakes. And then I got these four for the extra tie outs, and then these two as backup. This, friends, is why I'm doing all this testing, because I want to get the kinks worked out before I'm out there. And um, my first year of college was a survival class because I was in forestry, and they said one of the best things you can do is think through scenarios you might get into before you get into them out in the field so that you don't panic and you have some chance of making a better decision. So that's kind of what we're doing here. I hope this is fun and helpful for you. I was just out there. I used a hammer to pound in the, the tent stakes. So I actually had the tent set up. It's my first time pitching the Plex Solo tent. And uh, so it's in the dark. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, friends, 
I got the tent set up somehow in the dark. <laughs> got the tent set up in the dark. First time setting this one up. So uh, I'm not sure if we got the pitch exactly right, but it's up. This tent does not have one of those little storm door uh, class halfway down. I'm not sure why. I wish it did. My little profit backpack actually folds up pretty nicely. Foot uh, elevation for the good feet. Then a little space above the head. I wouldn't describe this tent as spacious. It has just enough room for everything that you need. So it that's its purpose though. It's uh, minimal weight for uh, minimal luxury. <laughs> this thing right here, you can um, pull it up tighter from the outside. Give yourself a little more headroom. I just didn't want to figure that out on the first night in the dark. Loosening up the shoelaces, opening up the shoe, and then these Dyneema waterproof bags. I'll put my shoes inside of one of these so this is easy to wipe down in the morning. And if nothing else, contain the water from the bottom of the boots from the snow. Status report, 4.30 in the morning. We just had a bunch of sleety rain. You might be able to see it on the material of the tent but the good news is that's all outside the inside of the tent is completely dry you may remember the night we cowboy camp tested it this sleeping bag had a lot of condensation on it because it was outside here in the tent it's completely dry as well and over here by the tow box is all dry and that makes me really happy because I don't like condensation <laughs> this tent is actually pretty drafty that's probably why there's no condensation but I'll take it as a trade-off for having a dry tent in the morning get out I'm sitting up and I got all this headroom uh, so yeah liking it so far we're off to a good start and think about it this way this is now our second night of camping out in the freezing cold bad weather. It was 33 degrees last night with 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. It said real feel was like 25. So our confidence level has been boosted again and we're getting ready for the AT. Woo! Let's do it. I'm ready for the trail. Are you? Come on. Let's get pumped up. Let's do it. Might might want to hear what it sounds like when it's rainy, slavey on the tent at night. <laughs> I find it kind of relaxing, actually. One other thing you might be curious about is, am I warm? And actually, um, surprisingly, it's toasty warm. I've got the sleeping bag liner in the sleeping bag. All right, friends, here's the tent we stayed in last night. Let you see what it looks like in the daytime. That corner was just lower than the other, so if you have an idea about pitching the tent for me, that would be great. Otherwise, maybe it was the wind, but probably something I did. There are two new uses for a trowel. You can push the uh, tent stakes into the ground if the ground is hard or frozen. At least you got a shot at it. And then you can also um, pull the stakes up more easily. Isn't that right, Toby? 